Symptoms of magnesium deficiency. Another one that we've been dying to do and we got you got some notes on it. First off, what I see out there the most, and I, I, I kind of have, have done a little bit of research even further than we started, and it seems that Gen X is now, the women of Gen X are now hitting the menopause age. Yep. And what I've noticed on social media and even articles is they're looking for relief and they're finding out that magne magnesium citrate and magnesium glyconate is two different magnesiums, which is mind blowing to me. So what's the difference? Well, it's one magnesium, it's one mineral with two different chelates. Huh. And the chelation of them makes them absorbable and able to be utilized in different ways. Um, so let's start with magnesium citrate. Well, citrate, which is a, a chelated by citric acid, is an ideal form of magnesium to take during the day. Now, let's talk just briefly about what magnesium does. First of all, it's an electrolyte. It's opposite of calcium. So, for example, calcium causes muscles to contract. Magnesium causes them to relax. Okay. So, for example, if you have tremors, leg cramps, especially at night, uh, it's very likely, although there are other causes for that, but it's very likely that you have a magnesium-calcium imbalance and you're probably more deficient in magnesium than calcium. Uh, magnesium is such an essential mineral. It is responsible for uh, uh, regulating blood pressure, blood sugar, uh, it produces, it's involved in the Krebs cycle, producing energy. Uh, it keeps the nerves working smoothly, which is necessary when you have to have a contraction and a relaxation. Uh, it's involved in protein synthesis. Uh, without that, you have a whole host of problems. And of course, along with calcium, it's involved with bone and tooth strength. Uh, so magnesium citrate is ideal to take in the morning because it helps to provide the magnesium you need for those types of experiences, those types of benefits. So everything you just said is magnesium citrate. Well, they're interchangeable, but magnesium citrate is more bioavailable uh, during the day. Okay. Now we go to magnesium glycinate. Glycinate uh, is a chelate, and it helps to induce relaxation. So think of when you contract a muscle, and then you relax it. Relax it. So it is, calcium is a relaxing uh, muscle, uh, muscle relaxer. And uh, glycinate helps induce uh, deeper, uh, more restful sleep. So glycinate should be taken in the evening, approximately an hour before you go to bed. With food or without? It doesn't matter, usually. Okay. Um, some people are more sensitive to magnesium than other, and it can create bowel disturbances. So you may want to start with a lower dose of magnesium, Low you know, 50, 100 milligrams, uh, and see how your system responds and allow it to get used to it. Uh, but there's so many potential deficiency symptoms. How would you know if you're deficient in magnesium? Well, how about muscle cramps, fatigue, uh, irregular heartbeat, mood swings, uh, osteoporosis, type two diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. Uh, that should give you an idea how important magnesium is uh, in your diet. Yeah. It, it it's so fascinating that it that it when we when we were doing the research on this the the heart part of it and the and the uh, the leg shaking at night part and how those things work you know what I mean oh it, it's it's what people don't realize because and and it's a cultural thing when we talk about supplements and if I want to know if you take supplements. Nine times out of ten, 
people are going to say, hey, do you take vitamins? Okay. What they mean is do you take a dietary supplement? Yeah. And they're not the same. Because vitamins, there's only 17 of them. Yet there are 100 essential nutrients. Oh, okay. I okay. see what you're so, saying. But our mindset is, do you take vitamins? I take my vitamin. I take my one-a-day vitamin. I take my vitamin yeah, drink every day. Yeah, but that's not day. complete. But it's not complete. Yeah. And the truth be known that the largest group of minerals, or nutrients rather, uh, that are essential for well-being are the minerals. Uh, there are at least 56 of them. And uh, So we, magnesium is a mineral and an electrolyte. Yes, it is an electrolyte mineral. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, along with calcium, potassium, and, and chloride, and others. Um, and so, when you have uh, a mineral deficiency, it help. It, it actually retards the body's ability to utilize vitamins. Mm. So it, they they should always go hand in hand. Uh, and the micro trace elements. Uh, which we've talked about before and probably should do again uh, one day, is uh, the largest group. And those are responsible, they're what we call catalysts. They make other things happen in the body. And without them, a lot of thousands of biochemical actions that are necessary for optimal wellness uh, either don't occur or they don't occur effectively. So what kind of lifestyles would contribute to magnesium deficiency? Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, a diet that's not rich in, 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 in calcium and magnesium. No. And the problem is, is that uh, for decades, people got along drinking dairy milk yeah. as calcium, as some magnesium. But that's fallen out of favor simply because uh, after age 50, it's very difficult to digest milk because it, it's a product that was made for infants. It mm. wasn't made for old people. So we really have no business drinking milk after 15 or 16 years of age. Yeah. Um, what, what might you look for? Uh, if you suspect a vita, uh, magnesium Does deficiency. overconsumption, since it's an electrolyte, wouldn't overconsumption of even water deplete magnesium? Yes. So overconsumption of alcohol. Anything that's a diuretic. Yeah. So even alcohol. Alcohol, caffeine, water to excess. So even under people between twenty and fifty also maybe could, could fall victim to magnesium deficiency. Even as well. some of those people could benefit yeah, from magnesium. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So how do you know if you might have a magnesium deficiency? Well, twitches leg cramps, numbness, um, general overall weakness, irregular heartbeat, heart palpitations, constipation, nausea, vomiting, mm. loss of appetite, and headaches. Hmm. Okay, so when people think of magnesium, for example, me, when I think of magnesium, I think of it as a partner to calcium. As well it should be. So do those... If someone's looking into this, do they look for a product that has both or does it matter? Uh, it does matter uh, because you don't want excess calcium over magnesium. You don't want excess magnesium over calcium, except in very strange and interesting biological circumstances. The average general rule is uh, you want to have two parts calcium to one part magnesium. Hmm. So if you're taking 500 milligrams of calcium, you want 250 milligrams of chelated calcium uh, because uh, magnesium has a stronger electrical potential than calcium, so you need less of it in relationship to calcium. Hmm. Now, once you've got your calcium-magnesium ratios, which you should be able to get with a good full-spectrum multi-supplement, then if you, for whatever individual reasons, need extra magnesium, you can feel free to take it and uh, you don't have to worry about calcium depletion. And so the, the, what I brought up about Gen X, why is Gen X, the, the women of Gen X, they're hitting menopause and they're being told 
that they need the magnesium glyconate. What is the purpose that the... That the One that of the symptoms of menopause is sleep disturbance. Okay. Uh, as hormones fluctuate up and down, uh, it can wake a lady up numerous times in the night. And so taking... Hot flashes. I mean, there's nothing like a good night's sleep being interrupted by a hot flash. Yeah. So <laughs> magnesium glyconate is going to help them sleep better. Yes. That's mainly the reason. Yes. And, and help to manage cortisol. Yes, because it is a natural cortisol suppressant. Wow. And cortisol, of course, is the stress hormone that does all kinds of nasty things to us when we have an excessive amount. Yeah. 